Well, good Friday evening and a happy new year to you at home. I'm Priscilla Casper. It has been 10 years since that day, January 8th of 2011. The name of the memorial is the embrace. Some local small businesses are worried about protests given the riots at the Capitol. Some days the Tucson Mortuary says it has no more room to help grieving families. The South African variant of COVID-19 has been detected here in the state. Governor Doug Ducey announcing he was rolling back COVID-19 mitigation efforts in the state. Today, the mayor said that the governor's latest executive order is premature and that it will threaten the lives of Arizonans. You can register for a COVID-19 vaccine, so this includes the pod right here at the University of Arizona. Took quite a while to build our new set. Wait till you see our new look. It's going to be great. Mayor Regina Romero is asking for a temporary pause on a zoo expansion effort. Well, Governor Doug Ducey signing an anti-abortion bill today. Arizona beats Connecticut by 10, this incredible run comes to a heartbreaking end. Tucson's very own Chef Maria of Boca Tacos is making her debut on Bravo's Top Chef season. People continuing to stream across the U.S.-Mexico border through Arizona. The new facility capable of housing 500 people is meant to help deal with the recent surge. Governor Doug Ducey issues an executive order banning so-called vaccine passports. The Atlanta Dream select Ari McDonald. University of Arizona. Christopher Clements is accused of killing six-year-old Isabel Salas. The state is no longer seeking the death penalty. The university says it will reach 200,000 doses administered this week. Street racing problem appears to have turned deadly. Several bystanders desperately trying to rescue him from the car. He passed away soon after in the hospital. The Pima County Board of Supervisors declared May 29th as Grace Soto Day. TPD, all been talking about a pay raise for a while now, and it's finally come around. There are a dozen cities nationwide that have seen a spike in homicides. Tucson is among them. And it's a rise that we certainly didn't anticipate. So I'm just taking a little time off to enjoy some uh, retirement and uh, break away from this business for a little bit. With KVOA participating in the relay, uh, Al promised to give Tucson a little extra love because the Today Show, Savannah Guthrie, is also from here. A procession was held today for fallen Nogales police officer, Jeremy Britton, who died after being hit by a vehicle off I-19 last month. The city of Tucson is left reeling after a horrific shooting spree. Two EMTs were shot, one in the arm and in the chest, and the other in the head. A home invasion where an 11-year-old girl was held at gunpoint. And the mother is pleading for the public's help. It's a danger to leave these people out there. Arizona students will now be required to learn about the Holocaust in class. As of today, we've seen the wettest monsoon at this point in the season that we've ever had here in Southern Arizona. A Tucsonan is a world champion. Michelle Lesko won her first Nathan's hot dog eating competition. Various church leaders conspired to conceal the sexual abuse. The Food and Drug Administration could give full approval of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine next week. He's been looking for the suspects since April and found them within three months after the initial story aired. They recognized the suspects immediately from the KVOA. Uh, Facebook. Good news. The Tucson favorite, El Well Canelo. Sonoran Dog is ranked among the best hot dogs. The Pima Animal Care Center says they have treated nearly 50 cases of parvo in the past five days. People in Arizona have spent nearly a billion dollars in recreational and medical marijuana sales so far this year. The monsoon has kept open another part of the wall that's making it easy for people to walk through. Now the woman was stuck on top of her vehicle for over an hour. Thanks for joining us for this special September 11th presentation. Tucson's Ronald McDonald House is celebrating its 40th anniversary. The results of the 2020 election audit are in. It is a day many have waited for. Hospitals and rural communities are struggling to find their patients care. Welcome to our special tribute to legendary University of Arizona basketball coach Lou Olson. Pima Community College is one of the community college selected across the country that will receive $100,000 funded by legendary band Metallica. Military black large zip ties and standing in my doorway. Threatened to place her under citizen's arrest for following Pima County COVID-19 protocol. Giraffe Denver. The zoo announced she was euthanized today due to a declining quality of life. Tucson native Risa Bergeron taking center stage in L.A. at the Dodgers game singing the national anthem. Record high season for the West Nile virus in our state. 
tragedy in Tucson this morning. One DEA agent is dead. End of watch, October 4th, 2021. Rest easy. Voted Tuesday to require those city employees who are still unvaccinated for COVID to get their shots by December 1st or face getting fired. Hollywood is coming back to Tucson. The new HBO series called Duster. Switching gears now, the annual El Tour de Tucson is back. The border is back open this morning. Three weeks after the border reopened to visitors from Mexico, nearly every shop is open for business. The FDA today approving boosters for all Americans 18 and over. It was truly a a hero's welcome home and now that hero is resting next to his parents here in Douglas. In 2007 Lambeth was ruled insane for killing his grandparents right here in Tucson. After their murders Lambeth was put into the Arizona State Hospital only to be let out into the community once again. This year his roommate was found beaten to death. World War II hero from Arizona Adolfo Harpo Celaya has died. After a two-year hiatus the 4th Avenue Street Fair and shoppers are definitely back. This and off-duty police officer Ryan Remington unloaded nine rounds towards a suspected shoplifter. Now that he has been confirmed as the commissioner of U.S. Customs and Border Protection, he's familiar with the border from being a chief of police in Arizona. Mayor and city council has approved the new chief of police. Chad Kazmar is a 22-year veteran. He started with TPD back in 2000.